what is going on everybody R.A. Baby back in the video today's video here with another fake unboxing today's unboxing is gonna be of uh, I can't pronounce the first word the Expedoid Excalibur Zenith Zenith Sorb Dash One like always make sure as you check out all the description below to all my other projects but most importantly please subscribe and show up for more weekly Beyblade content so finally back with another video I actually actually tweaked my back like last week and I haven't really been able to stand or really do that much so I haven't been able to record and do anything like that I still can't really record I'm actually still in a decent amount of pain so give me a like for that but here for the unboxing we got the Excalibur Beyblade here let's get this unboxed let's get this started you guys know you guys know the deal fake Beyblade etc etc that's the parts all uh taken apart and then we'll take a look at everything so first off we have the DB Core Excalibur uh, from what I was watching online and looking up online, uh, this blade is supposed to like protrude out. Uh, it looked like it was pretty easy to slide out in the, for the real ones. But again, this is a fake one, so it probably is removing the feature. But it does actually still have the divots for the DB lock right there. I believe those right there are the actual things to lock it into the DB lock for this Beyblade. Uh, colors aren't the best. The red seems to be a little bit too light and the gold seems to be a little bit too light as well. But yeah, from what I was watching online, it seemed like the disc protruded out. The sword, at least. Again, the colors aren't the best. It did come with stickers, but I do always like to skip them. But yeah, there's a DB cord. There is the teeth. Uh, again, try again. Nothing slides out. Nothing really clicks. Nothing really moves. So yeah, there is the DB core Excalibur. And here we are with the BU blade. I can't pronounce it. Expedoid. Expedoid. Uh, but yeah, here we are with the blade itself. Uh, it is remnants of one of the older Excalibur Beyblades. I forget the name of it, but it is a remnant of that based on the look and the coloring and the design. Painting is not the best, as you can tell right there. Chipping right there, uh, things of that nature. It, this blade is supposed to have two modes. It's supposed to have the original mode and the one hit mode, which is like the lining of protrusions and things of that nature to make it hit with the, the corner, things of that nature. Uh, we'll see if we can figure that out uh, again. Not looking the best, but not looking the worst. Could be better, but yeah, there is the blade expedoid or expedoid or whatever. Next up, we have the armor one. It's more of a heavier one from what I'm reading up online. It has one central point that it's a single point that it's focused on where the weight. Uh, but yeah, looking from the design, looks everything looks fresh. Polish is nice, nice and clean. Nothing really sharp other than right here, which is kind of the issue when it comes to putting the Gibbet Blade apart, uh, together. Because this part sometimes is too sharp to actually latch onto it. But as you can tell, the weight right there is kind of uneven. So I'm assuming right there is just the focal point and the focus point of the weight. But there is the armor one. So here we are next with the weight Xanus. Uh, from what I believe I'm online, this is based off of like a, the name is based off of Greek mythology, I believe. It does have the points for the BU lock right there. They're not the best, but you can tell right there. Sorry, cat hair. So right there, there is the indents and things like that instead of the actual lettering. Uh, but from what I was looking at comparing online, it does seem pretty uh, much alike to the original. But the polishing design is not the best. But again, it does have the bumps and things like that. So the BU lock should work to get into the one hit mode, which basically this part, is, this whole Beyblade is like detrimental on the pieces kind of uh, working together and locking together to hit into the one hit mode and to line up the swords and things of that nature. But yeah, there is the Forge Disc Xanus. Here we are with the final piece, Sword Dash. This is an upgrade from the original uh, sword combo. Uh, from the original and the actual like Teratomi one, this is supposed to be a harder spring, so it's supposed to be red, which I believe indicates, again, tougher spring and things of that nature. It is an upgrade. Uh, from what I'm reading up online, this is like a pretty a tip that is just going to basically not have the best stamina and things of that nature. So it is going to go everywhere and kind of a, be an assault type of, type of weapon. The patterns aren't going to be the best from what I've seen online as well. It's not going to have like a central pattern like this. It's probably going to go crazy, things of that nature. That's just basing it off the online review of uh, what it says online. But let's get this baby together and see how it looks. We're actually going to start off with the new part of the segment. Is we actually got a scale. It's a little gram scale for, uh, you know, you know, this type of stuff. So let's play out this Beyblade. This is currently in grams. See how much it weighs right now. 74.49 grams. I don't know how much the original weighs. I'll just try to see if I can find it online and try to see if I can post it up here. But it's a pretty decent way from looking up on other DB Beyblades. It does kind of hold the weight and things of that nature. But let's get more of a look into it. This is it in high mode right now. I don't know, again, from... Doesn't seem like anything's going to activate. I think the one hit mode is kind of non-work. It's basically not part of his Beyblade. I think it doesn't like to work. 
Uh, putting his baby back together is not the best uh, time either. Uh, it is kind of difficult for some reason. Because again, because it's is fake. But yeah, it is pretty tight. Uh, and not at the same time. But nothing really seems to change. The tip kind of stays the same. Nothing really happens. Pops out. But let's get into low mode and see if anything is different. So here we are in the low mode. Uh, it looks pretty. Honestly, I like the look of this baby. It looks pretty cool. Uh, let's get some test trips though, uh, going and see how it goes. We're starting off in low mode, uh, which is the mode it's currently on. Three, two, one, shoot. Again, the pattern is like the best. I didn't get the strongest rip on it, but it is a pretty weighted Beyblade. You can feel within the rip that it does have some weight to it. We'll try again, see if I can rip it a little bit harder. Three, two, one, shoot. Yeah, like that's violent. You can especially hear the metal tip on the thing. And the thing is with this fake Beyblade, the tip is actually metal, not like fake metal or aluminum or whatever. So that's actually nice. So there is a Lomo. Uh, based on the tip, it's not surprising that the stamina is basically giving out. Uh, let's switch into high mode, see if uh, anything changes and if anything's different. So here we are in high mode. Uh, the blade actually does protrude out. I actually like fucked with it and it actually did protrude out. So I don't know how it's going to work now if anything's like, if I did something wrong. So again, let me know if I did, but let's get this launch three two one shoot. yeah so that's a very violent baby kind of hard to control to be 100 percent honest especially in high mode three two one shoot. it is a very violent baby but let's get some baby battles going Go to grab a Beyblade and get this started. First, we're starting off with one of the best uh, fake Beyblades I have. This is DB Greatest Raphael. We're we'll launching in first. Three, two, one, shoot. Shoot. From what I was reading up online, it's based off the hits that the blade will pop out. But as you can tell, Greatest Raphael is basically just beating it via stamina. Uh, as per usual. Okay, let's see if it actually did anything. Okay, it looks like the blade protruded out a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I set it up wrong. Uh, again, I could be 100% wrong. But let's see if we set up... Did we set up the right way? We set it up the right way. Okay, set up this way. But boom. Okay, let's get this going again. So it's 1 and 0 for Raphael. Launching him first, 3, 2, 1, shoot! And shoot! And it basically just committed suicide. I don't know if I'm allowed to actually say that on YouTube, but I did say it. Uh, again, the blade did protrude out a little bit. I could be missing something. Could be doing something completely wrong. Let me know down below, but it feels like everything is lined up for how it's supposed to be when it comes to it being in one shot mode things of nature no click so uh again but it's pretty easy to burst we'll switch it into low mode and give it another try this might be my slow brain finally realizing it but i'm assuming with the with the sword protruding out uh that just kind of makes the weight more dispersed towards the point of it so when it does hit it has more of a girth to the one hit which is like within the one hit point sorry that's why it's probably called one hit mode doy but uh, give me one second <laughs> And we'll continue on this video. So we got him back in low mode. We're launching Raphael first again. Raphael is 2-0 two, two and oh right now. 3, 2, 1, 2. And 3, 2, 1, 2. It doesn't spin the best, but it does, have, again, you can tell those heavy hits are there. Greatest Raphael with the W once again. Okay, so there you go. One point mode actually did work. Uh, it seemed like it actually helped with it. I don't know how this actually has weight to it. From what I was reading up online as well, this DB core is supposed to be one of the heaviest ones out there within the series. Let me know if I'm wrong. But we're going to switch up the Beyblade and do one more set of battles and we're going to end the video there. Just for the hell of it, we're going to put it up against this fierce Achilles uh, DB Beyblade I did buy uh, recently. Uh, let me know. <laughs> You can check out the video on my channel of it being unboxed, but it's a left spin Beyblade. Uh, we're just going to do it because why the hell not? This Beyblade doesn't seem to be the best, uh, but we are going to be launching in Sky first. Three, two, one. Shoot. Shoot. Here's the killers that actually win this, just based off stamina. It's taking those hits though. 
Okay, Achilles took the W right there. I did actually click once, which is surprising. But again, you can barely hear the click. We're going to launch in Fierce Achilles first and then see how that goes. Three, two, one. Shoot. You can really tell like that one hit point is actually doing something. So I guess the gimmick actually does work. But Fierce Achilles is getting those low hits. Oh, Fierce Achilles took the L. We're launching uh, Excalibur first to see how it goes for the next round. Again, the blade is protruding out. Final potential battle. Three, two, one. Shoot. Shoot. Sorry for all the cat hair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Achilles with the L. It's two to two. The protrusion did pop out. One hit mode did activate fully right there. So you just have to slide in like so. Fix back in perfectly. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to break over time. Uh, we're, we'll do the tiebreaker right here and then end the video. Three, two, one. Shoot. Shoot. Oh. Okay, that's the stamina battle. Fierce Achilles could win. A Hasbro Quad Drive Beyblade can beat a fake Takara Tomy Beyblade baby. They're both stumbling. Uh, oh no. Oh, Achilles with the W. We're going to end the video here now. Thank you so much for watching. File consensus. Uh, I'm going to start doing ratings now. Uh, build quality? It's alright when it comes to that mode. Uh, look pretty nice. Colors are nice. Could be a little bit darker when it comes to the reds and the golds. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Mind you, I don't put on the stickers. Uh, actual workability when it comes to the gimmick. It works. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to set up. This Beyblade is kind of a bitch to put back together. Uh, when it comes to setting up, putting in high mode, low mode, locking and such. Because uh, again, the clips don't actually hit. So I would rate this a 3 out of 5. It passes, but it's something I would probably skip on. Unless if you do want all the fake Beyblades. If you do, let me know down below. I can link you guys to this certain Beyblade right here. And I can also give you guys a referral link to $7 off your first wish order. It'll be helping me out and also be helping you out. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do subscribe for more weekly Beyblade content. Do post short videos and also post weekly videos on here. Try to at least weekly or bi-weekly. Uh, if you want to support me even more, please check the all links in the description below to all my other projects. If you made it this far in the video, comment Squirtle. The Pokemon Squirtle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on Beyblading. Peace.